Another day, another person upset at the Dark Souls games and other challenging video games. The person that we are going to be taking a look at today made a video called Why Games Like Dark Souls 3 and Remnant 2 Suck. Spoiler alert, because they're hard. Anyway, let's get into the video. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, I am the much debated hippo. I find it really weird that this guy calls himself the much debated hippo, yet he only has like 70 subs and he started about a year ago, which is not bad, like that's pretty good for one year of YouTube. However, how are you much debated? But if you guys know me, you know from the past that I really hate Dark Souls 3. And if you've been following this channel at all, you know that I've been playing the game on screen, which is Remnant 2. And I said I liked Remnant 2. I'm going to rephrase that. I like Remnant 2 on Survivor difficulty. Maybe better, but any harder than that is just idiotic. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? When I heard him say this, I knew I had to make a response video. Apparently, if you are a Remnant 2 player and you choose to play the game on a higher difficulty than Survivor or Veteran, that is quote unquote fucking idiotic. You realize just because the higher difficulty exists doesn't mean you have to play on it, right? Like, there are difficulties in games that are way too high for me. For example, the highest difficulty in the Doom games, the newer Doom games, where basically if you die, you have to restart the entire game or the entire level i can't remember it's one of the two um that is way too hard for me and i will probably never ever play that mode however i don't think it's idiotic because there are people out there who would enjoy that extra challenge there are probably people out there who only play on the highest difficulty and would never play on the easier difficulty but i don't see them out here saying things like the easy difficulties are idiotic can i finally figured out why i don't like games like dark souls and Remnant 2 and any other game like this that makes things artificially hard. Dark Souls is anything but artificially hard. Like, the challenge actually makes sense. When you die, it's almost always your fault, and the game is always challenging but yet fair. What I mean by when I say artificially hard is they literally make your enemies bullet sponges and OP, so you have to go out of your way and fight them. They don't make the mechanics harder, the moves to dodge isn't harder to dodge or anything like that. That is untrue. If you start out a game like Dark Souls 3 and you look at like the first boss, Vort, he is a very easy boss. He just runs back and forth in the arena, lets you hit him, doesn't have very high health, and is a very easy fight. As the game progresses, the bosses get harder and harder and have harder and harder mechanics to deal with. An example of this is the Medir fight. Medir takes takes reduced damage on every single part of his body besides his head, meaning you have to fight him head on, making it a much more dangerous and challenging fight. It's literally just pattern recognition and eventually you win. There is a lot more to the Souls games than just pattern recognition. I mean, for example, getting summons, upgrading your weapons, upgrading your armor, upgrading your stats, your positioning in the arena, choosing your build, I could keep going. Also, pattern recognition is a huge part of gaming. But you have to fail multiple times. There are a lot of games where you're going to fail multiple times when you try to do something. I mean, take a look at a game like Geometry Dash. You have to fail so many times in that game before you actually beat a level. If you live your life scared of failure, never doing or trying anything because of failure, you'll never ever succeed. And I realized why I don't like games like this. And it's simply because I don't like wasting my time. I never have and I never will. If you don't like wasting time, then why are you playing video games? In 99.9% .9 of cases, the entire purpose of entertainment is to waste your time. Playing a video game is designed to waste some time. Reading a book is designed to waste some time. Watching a movie is designed to waste some time. Going and watching a sports game is designed to waste your time. I don't necessarily think wasting your time is a bad thing. I mean, you have to keep yourself entertained. The only things that are really not a waste of time is paying the bills and feeding yourself. And now, you could argue, well, playing video games itself is wasting time, and you'd be right. But the level of time waste, it varies, and there's different levels to this shit. For instance, if I'm just playing a game and I'm enjoying myself, I don't consider that a waste of time. I consider that time well spent to entertain myself where otherwise I would have been bored. However, when I'm repeating shit constantly over and over and over again, and not repeating in a way that I have to say it multiple times or I have to repeat it in a way that makes sense, when I'm just repeating the same part over and over and over again to recognize the pattern just so I can dodge the pattern, that's just a waste of my fucking time. 
if you have to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over again in a Dark Souls game, for example, it's probably because you're doing something wrong and the game is trying to teach you something. It's trying to teach you to divert from your ways and try something different. For me, if I die to a boss more than five times, I think to myself, I'm probably doing something wrong. There's probably something more efficient I could be doing to make this boss fight easier on myself. I'll give a good example of this. When I got to Ornstein and Smo in Dark Souls 1, I died to him for quite a bit. I think I died like eight times to the boss in total. So what I did is I searched around for a little bit to try to find a way to make the boss fight easier and I found out that I could actually summon Solaire. And I tried the boss fight the next attempt after summoning Solaire and beat him first try. Another example is Margit in Elden Ring. When I got to him for the first time I must have spent two hours on the boss fight and I just could not beat him until I went and explored a little bit and found Margit's shackle, an item which basically made the boss a cakewalk. The point I'm trying to make is, is you probably shouldn't be trying the same boss over and over and over and over again in the exact same way. You should look around, there's probably a way to make it much easier. I don't want to have to die to something 6 to 10 times to recognize their attack pattern so I can beat it. See, like I said before, if I die to a boss more than 5 times, I know there's probably something I could be doing to make the boss easier on myself. Maybe I'm underleveled, maybe I don't have the right build, like etc etc. A good way to make it so you don't have to die over and over and over again to learn a boss's attacks is to just go into the arena and observe him attack for a while so you know what attacks he can use. Everybody's like, well, it's skill, get good and whatnot. No, the fuck it's not skill, it's pattern recognition, and pattern recognition is not a very hard skill to master or do. If that's the case, then why are you making an entire video seething and coping about the difficulty in Dark Souls games in Remnant 2? If that's the case, then how come only like 40% of people who've played Bloodborne have even beaten the Cleric Beast? Pattern recognition is a skill that you need to learn if you want to play games like Dark Souls, just like how timing is a skill you need to learn if you want to play games like Geometry Dash. And no matter how many people make these copium-filled videos, that is not going to change. Like, with enough time, anyone can recognize a pattern and adjust to it. It's just facts. Yes, anyone can learn a pattern, however, you also need to have things such as good timing in order to dodge the attacks. Pattern recognition and knowing the boss's attacks can only take you so far. You actually have to time your dodges and parries right as well, which is another skill you have to learn. So you could be the worst fucking player in the world, and you could overcome any fight in any of these games. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. I'm sorry, but I highly doubt somebody by the name of Shit Muncher is beating Watch somebody come down in my comment section named Shit Muncher and tell me that I'm an idiot because he beat Dark Souls. So I don't want to hear about, oh, it, it takes skill. No, the fuck it does. Pattern recognition is a skill. Timing is a skill. Positioning is a skill. No amount of coping is going to change this. It, it just takes enough time and patience for you to recognize the pattern and overcome the pattern. Time and patience is how you learn a skill. In this case, you are learning the skill of pattern recognition. You are learning the timings of the attacks. It does take skill. I'm going to go back to the Cleric Beast example from Bloodborne. Only 40% of people who played Bloodborne beat the Cleric Beast. If it took no skill, then everyone would have just beaten it. 40% of the people who played through Bloodborne and beaten the Cleric Beast got up to the Cleric Beast and decided to either beat the boss on their first try, which is highly unlikely, or develop the skills required to beat the boss. And, and that's the reality of why I don't like these games, because I love pattern recognition, I do. But I don't love pattern recognition and doing it over and over again if there's no reward if there's not a significant accomplishment on the other end of it. I find it pretty ironic that he says this because the entire thing with the Dark Souls series is that giant sense of accomplishment that you finally get once you beat that boss that you were struggling with. And for me, this is just a video game. If it's just a video game to you, why are you making an entire YouTube video just mauling over the fact that it's a difficult game? I used to be the same way. I used to say shit like Geometry Dash takes no skill, it's just it's just timing or whatever, until I realized that I'm just not good at this game, and it's just a game. Like, who cares? Alright, I don't give a shit whether or not someone thinks that I'm good or not in the fucking video game. Me being good and overcoming the video game doesn't give me a or doesn't translate to any real world skills. Video games can give you better reaction time and hand-eye coordination, but besides that, you're right, it doesn't really give you any real world skills. 
But I mean, solving a Rubik's Cube in 13 seconds is the same way. That doesn't make it any less impressive, though. Just like how someone who beats Dark Souls at level 1 is probably not getting any real-world skills, but it's still very impressive and takes a lot of skill. A lot of people are not able to solve Rubik's Cubes in short amounts of time. A lot of people are not able to beat Dark Souls. That's why these are considered impressive things that take skill. Now, if you like these games, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with you. There's anything wrong with that. But I am going to say that you're not fucking skilled at video games because you can beat games like Dark Souls 3 or Remnant 2 on fucking Nightmare or whatever the hell, the uh, Apocalypse or whatever the hardest difficulty is. Again, this is just straight up more copium. I will never be able to beat the new Doom games on the absolute hardest difficulty. That doesn't mean it's not a skillful thing to do. That doesn't mean it's not a very challenging thing to do. I will never be able to do a Dark Souls no hit run, but that doesn't make it any less impressive and it doesn't make it take any less skill. Instead of sitting here and getting really upset and coping and all that because you can't beat the Dark Souls games or you don't want to put the time in to beat it, why not just accept that it's not for you and move on and play something else? Seriously, not liking a certain video game because it's hard is completely fine, but you can't sit here and say it takes no skill because you don't want to put the time in. Alright, so uh, we need to stop saying, oh, these games are skill-based games. No, the fuck they're not. The f yes, they are, or else people wouldn't say things like, oh, this is the Dark Souls of blank. Clearly, these are hard games that take skill to beat. Fights are made cheesy, and they're made increasingly hard simply because it, it's, it's artificially hard. Like, for instance, what really made me see this is the boss fight in this game, the final fight, the root plant, whatever the fuck the thing is. It really made me see what was going on. Now for the rest of the video, he talks about the final boss fight of Remnant 2, and I don't know if he really has a point or not because I've never played Remnant 2, my PC can't run it anyway. This is probably due to the fact that the game uses Unreal Engine 5. Seriously, fuck you Unreal Engine 5. But seriously, to wrap this video up, if I have one bit of advice to give this guy is stop taking it so seriously. Who cares if you aren't good at Dark Souls? Like. Personally, I'm not good at Devil May Cry. I'm not good at Geometry Dash. I'm not good at puzzle games. But at the end of the day, I just don't play them. I don't care. I don't care to be good at them. I don't care to be skilled at them. They still take skill, but it's just not a skill I want to learn. Anyway, peace. Also, I'd like to say that I have a 4070 ordered, so I might be able to play Remnant 2.